Switches are typically made of strong and flexible wood such as hazel, birch, or hickory. Willow branches are also used, as well as branches from strong trees and large shrubs. Switches are often from a garden or an orchard nearby, or taken from the wild. In the southeastern United States, fresh cut, flexible cane is commonly used. Making a switch involves cutting it from the stem and removing twigs or directly attached leaves. For optimal flexibility, it is cut fresh shortly before use, rather than keeping it for reuse over time. Origin and Historical Context The practice of using switches for punishment dates back to ancient times. In many early societies, physical discipline was considered an effective method of maintaining order, instilling obedience, and reinforcing social norms. The switch, a tool readily available from nature, was often chosen for its combination of flexibility and stinging impact. Switch punishment was prevalent across cultures, including ancient Greece, Rome, China, and various indigenous communities. In agrarian societies, where manual labor was essential for survival, discipline was often seen as a way to prepare children for the hardships of life. However, as societies evolved, so did the understanding of child psychology and the concept of human rights. Over time, there has been a growing awareness of the potential harm inflicted by physical punishment, leading to its decline in many parts of the world. Historical Examples Ancient Rome and Greece In ancient Rome, parents and teachers were allowed to use physical punishment, including switches, to discipline children. Similarly, in ancient Greece, a common saying was, spare the rod and spoil the child, reflecting the belief in physical discipline. Colonial America, early American colonists brought with them the practice of switch punishment. Parents and teachers used switches to discipline children for various offenses. This practice was often seen as a way to mold children into responsible citizens. Slave Plantations One of the most disturbing examples of switch punishment occurred on slave plantations. Enslaved individuals were subjected to severe physical punishment, often involving switches, as a means of control and suppression. Schools Throughout history, schools have also been places where switch punishment was commonly used. Students who violated rules or failed to meet academic expectations were subjected to physical discipline using switches. This practice persisted well into the 20th century in some places. Today, switch punishment is largely regarded as outdated and inhumane in many parts of the world. Numerous countries have banned it in schools and homes, recognizing that discipline can be achieved through nonviolent means, such as communication, positive reinforcement, and setting appropriate boundaries.